do you call this? Eh? I call it your finger, I would. Quite right, Jed. I'd recognize one anywhere. <laughs> it's dirt. That's what it is. I want that ambulance washed and polished and quick about it. Dr. Bickerbeak will be here any minute. Yes. that on your tie? Huh? Um, mm, tastes like cauliflower. Well, clean it off. I want you looking your best for the inspection. Uh, yes, Sally. And clean up this wall. Dr. Pickerbeak will be here any minute. He's never had chest pains before, Dr. Matthews. He's always been a healthy little mole. A lot of young animals get chest pains. It's not always serious. Have you eaten anything that might give you a tummy upset? Breathe in. Have you been doing push-ups? Are you worried about something? It's his first day at school tomorrow. He's very worried about it. Oh, it's all right. You can breathe out. <sighs> What's this? It's a sheet, Surgeon Sally. And it should be tucked in. I want you to remake this bed at once. Oh, the pipe's leaking. Better call the Ted's, Kitty. We need to get that fixed before Dr. Bickerbeak arrives. I don't think there's anything to worry about. I can't find anything wrong with you, Morris. Thank you, Doctor. It's a great relief. I can take him home, then. Yes. I bet you're glad to be going home, Morris. No, no. It hurts. <sighs> it hurts. <laughs> we thought this would be useful for the hospital school. You can teach people about shapes. And about gravity, how things fall downwards. Or you can just make things with it. What is it? It's a design for a high-rise rabbit, Warren. This won't hurt, Morris. Just lie still. It won't take a minute. measuring your heartbeat. What's that on the ceiling? What? I can't see anything. Oh dear, what is it? I'd better tell Dr Matthews about this one at once. <laughs> uh -oh. Don't you realise that there's a hospital inspection today? You've simply got to fix it. Uh, um. Not now, Dr Matthews. Can't you see there's a crisis on? But Sally, look. <gasps> Goodness. Get that mole into a bed at once. I've never seen anything like it. Is there anything you can do? He'll have to have a scan. We may have to operate. It might respond to laser surgery. Hmm. Poor Morris. Hello, everyone. Time for school. School? You don't have school in hospital. Of course you do. Yes. We make sure you don't miss anything when you're in hospital. I feel much better now. I want to go home. Come on, Morris. You've got an operation tomorrow. Today, we're going to learn about shapes and about gravity. And we're going to make things. You will enjoy it, Morris. Hurry up, Ted. Dr. Bickerbeak is here. This is our staff, Dr. Bickerbeak. I'm sure you remember most of them. Of course. Shall I lead the way? Where's Dr. Atticus? Well, Ted, can we fix it? No, we can't. 
Here's the electrocardiogram. Yes, very good, but you should move the machine further away from the couch. The patient could nudge it. There's Dr. Atticus. I haven't seen him. That's amazing! It's wonderful, Morris. But, uh, what is it? It's a design for a high-rise badger set. This way, Dr. Bickerbeak. Let me show you the wall. Hurry up, Teds. Hey, young mole. Will you give us a hand? I'm sure you'll be delighted with the way we look after our patients. And this is our broom cupboard. Look, we've got the most up-to-date vacuum cleaner. Uh, yes. Very good. Kitty! Yes, try that bit. That looks good. Hurry, they're coming! Quick, let's mop up. Let's mop up. Look! What is it, Kitty? Uh... The light fitting. Can you see, Dr. Bickerbeak? We only use the finest light bulbs. Uh, yes. Well done. This way, Dr. Bickerbeak. My, my. Yes. Well, I, I can explain everything. What a splendid idea. Yes, I'm glad to see that you have a proper school in the hospital. Well done. What imagination. Uh, yes. Well... I do my best. What a splendid construction, and so practical. Such a good idea to involve the patients in the practical workings of the hospital. Well done, young mole. Right, where next? Lead on, Surgeon Sally. Perhaps you'd like to see our lab. Well done, Morris. A gift. That's what you've got. A real talent. But that's enough excitement for one day. You've got a big operation tomorrow. I don't want an operation. If you don't have an operation, you won't get better. But I'm not ill. I was just pretending. Now, Morris, we all saw the results from the electrocardiogram. But Nurse Kitty, I hit the machine with my elbow. I did it on purpose. I, I didn't want to go to school. An excellent lab. This is a very good hospital. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Dr. Dr. Beckerbeek. I think that's just about everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> There's really nothing to worry about. I'm sure you'll like school. I feel much better now. I want to go home. It's just a shame that Dr. Atticus isn't here. On holiday, you'll say. Yes, he's been working very hard. Needed some time off. What's in there? Oh, uh, that's just the linen cupboard. Our linen cupboard is always clean and tidy. Look! <laughs> Dr. Atticus! Oh, 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 yes. Hello, Dr. Pickerby. Is it time for the inspection? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>